Um, so Sheila, you said it's really sunny there in Helsinki. Um, yes, I mean, uh, we are also based in different locations in Finland. Um, I mean, that's the beauty of the remote uh, presenting and remote uh, working, I guess, that we can really be located anywhere we wish and um, just with a good Wi-Fi. So wherever you are, um, I hope you're also able to enjoy the sunny days as we are. And uh, I would like to introduce, first of all, my co-host. So Sheila Rikonen is from a procurement as in venue finding company. Uh, the organization is one of the largest in the world. And uh, we both represent Health Prisco in the uh, northern region of Europe. So Nordics, uh, which is part of Scandinavia, obviously, as well, and the Baltic States and Russia. So uh, welcome, Sheila. Thank you, everyone. Uh, definitely, we have uh, very excited um, uh, hotels and venues waiting for this recording and to our live guests and Facebook. This is really fun and enjoyable to do this with you. So um, before I um, introduce Anna, I would just like to, yes, confirm that it's sunny and <laughs> I am located in the older part of Helsinki district, which is in ERA. And um, I am indeed um, a global meet venue finder, and it's been a pleasure to do business with everyone, especially during the last um, two, mo two years of my uh, work with Hells Briscoe. And um, Anna is, of course, our ARVP. And yesterday we had a very pleasant coffee time with our destination partners in Germany. And I think we will soon explore how you can develop rapport and uh, build your client base, even during this situation at the moment. That's right. And those that don't know what ARVP stands for, because it's not, uh, I would say, industry standard uh, terminology. So it really just refers on the area uh, director or VP. So uh, that's the ARVP. <laughs> it's something that our organization uses, but I haven't really seen it anywhere else. Um, so we have a, a, a beautiful venue to present today because our topic is sustainability. And we chose uh, one of the newest locations that we have in Helsinki, the capital area, and which is the Valo Hotel for today's virtual site visit. So we could just jump there right away and uh, just to see uh, how does that look like. Um, and, you know, this for a lot of people looks like sometimes an outside of the, the building, but this is actually the courtyard of that building that we are presenting today. So we are inside already in the reception area and you will be able to see a 360 view of this beautiful, uh, very light space. And I will be shortly showing on the map where where it is so Sheila you also were able to do the site visit and the opening uh, visit at the Wallow so how was it? Indeed Anna in a couple of months ago our MPI Finland was being hosted by the Valo salespeople and it is our pleasure to inspect all the rooms and the beautiful meeting rooms and the elegant Nordic inspired Asian fusion restaurant. And currently the hotel is open, but first of all, I'd love to just say that Valo is a very lovely word in Finnish, which means light. And I know that our team from Visualizer Visit has been quite active in making sure that the look and feel of this particular property is, you know, uh, transported to the living room of our uh, clients globally as it is possible to come here for staycations. Uh, but no more than a group of eight at the moment, I think, uh, in meetings. So family events and uh, weekend vibes can be still held in this hotel and at the moment they are open for takeaways and and breakfast uh, in a in a lovely takeaway bags one of our recent webinars i actually orchestrated from this space what you're looking at right now so um we stayed at the hotel just a month ago and uh, it was a great experience it, it is exactly what you see here in the pictures and 
even during winter, uh, as these uh, images have been taken, um, you can see how much light there is. So it's going to get even brighter now when we're getting towards uh, spring and summer. So, so all these images are from the winter, winter side. And then um, we could look at the location as well. It's true. It's very well located. Using the map, we can easily identify it's on top of Finland's or Helsinki's main thoroughfare, which is Mannerheim in the end, named after the um, Finnish guy Mannerheim, <laughs> a war hero. Yes. And it's one of the longest streets we can find, as you can see on the map. Yes, Mannerheim in Tia is the, the kind of main road that runs through the capital uh, all the way from, um, well, I mean, it's not actually, it's parallel to the airport. We have to show it in a bigger picture here. So when the airport is, um, okay, a little bit further, we, we need to go here. Yeah. So here, when the airport is here, um, usually Finnair Express or any other bus that you're taking or, or transportation or taxi to the city, it connects with the Mannerheim in Tia. So you're really well located in terms of uh, arriving from, from the airport to the, the property. And then, yes, this is definitely um, one of our main, main streets with everything along it. So you have, uh, I mean, you have seen some of those very high-end events that took place, for example, when the Obama was visiting or Trump has been visiting, you know, we have, we have always used properties which are along this, this row. So, so it's a great location, basically easy to get to. And it has multiple sustainable ways of getting to the city as well with the tram and, uh, and any, any kind of public transportation. We are welcoming, by the way, our guests from England and our meeting planners from uh, Europe right here on our session. And yes, indeed, uh, Valo is a very boutique type, I might say, because it's not a chain. So therefore, it's really elegant for a visualizer visit to even, you know, like uh, give a chance for this um, properties that are unique to the country and to the region. And if you look at the map, as Anna had shown, it's in the crossroad of a main intersection where you cannot miss it. Like when you come by from the airport, as we, as Anna had said, Mr. Barack Obama, President Boris Yeltsin in the old days, this is where they had the convoy for the security in Mannerheim in there. And Valo is just right there seated next to the street line. But the entrance is, of course, if you go a little bit um, closer and look at the map, is on this uh, private side of the road. And it's very convenient. There is no doubt that it's one of the most high, highly desirable location with access to the Mesokeskus, which is the Helsinki Fair and Convention Center, which is also presented in Visualizer Visit. So now we are looking at the Nordic style of the interior reception. So perhaps Anna will guide us to the check-in process, hygienic protocols, and everything that concerns us as meeting planners. Well, thank you, Sheila. Yes, yeah, so when I checked in a month ago to this property, um, because I knew that I was running these webinars from a location, and I wanted to ch choose a hotel or venue that is really catered for remote working. And this is it. So the Valo Hotel is definitely built for that. And the check-in process, you know, in terms of hygienic setup, um, I need to go back to um, actually to the 360 image so we can see that corner. Um, it's right behind these uh, little booths. So this is a reception that we're looking at straight at. And, uh, and it, it is actually very casual uh, setup. Right now there is plexi screens. So that's the pretty much the only difference to what you're looking at. Um, during the pandemic, they have installed uh, a big, you know, class class of front onto this uh, reception. So everything works very hygienically. You know, people are wearing masks, and also um, I think you know the cleanliness is obvious. You know, uh, these type of properties that we are presenting, they are all very much catering for the protocols that we have in place. You know, for the I safety. Truly agree, Anna. And in fact, when we had our MPI hosted 
spam trip, which is face to face made up of less than 10 people, our sales executive from Valo handed out to us the face mask already. Um, and that is, of course, optional. And today, of course, in Helsinki region, it's a must to wear face mask on the public transportation. But it is amazing, of course, that uh, you know, early on, they caught up with the hygienic protocols and there has been really safety measures uh, being provided here at Valo Hotel. Yes, and you mentioned the, the public uh, transportation having now, um, you know, these compulsory masks, but it actually took place only a couple of weeks ago. So I've, I've been one of the advocates of uh, wearing masks the whole year already since last March. So I've been writing a lot of articles and messages to, to the decision makers as well, asking for this to happen. So I'm very much uh, delighted that we finally have, have the mask uh, compulsory. But then you can see it also here because the guests you know, who are working in these uh, areas that you see, um, they're also respecting this same regulation, although it's not compulsory within the venue. Um, if you have you might have already noticed that the text is in a foreign language, so it's in Finnish. Um, because this is our newest visualizer presentation that we have just got our hands on, um, it hasn't yet been translated to uh, English. Normally these come in you know several languages, especially with the local language. And because of the travel restrictions, Valo has decided to just uh, launch the uh, visualizer visit first in Finnish for the local remote workers and uh, local travelers instead, but um, shortly it will be available also in English. So where it says kokous ja tapahtumatilat, that is actually the meetings area. So we will click that and we are able to see um, these really fantastic spaces. As you can see, the carpets are quite vibrant, um, still the space is very airy, and we do have the capacity charge here. So when we are looking at this is called Lahteikö, which is um, the one I'm highlighting right now. And uh, let's look at the theater style. So it is the largest space. And on a normal case, it would cater for 150. And now during COVID, it's 75, um, you know, with the security, the social distancing. And, and with the cocktail style, 180 and 80, with the social distancing and with uh, gala dinner set up 92. So it's really uh, useful to use these even in foreign language. And we have the still images. One thing I haven't mentioned earlier in our visualizer visits is that when you are organizing an event and you are using this venue, you can actually drag and drop, like you can see me doing this right now from the picture. So all the still images you can now place to your event website straight from the visualizer. So that also makes it a very good tool for easy access for marketing images. I agree, Anna. And let me just welcome our um, uh, guest from Italy as well, uh, Grazi. Thank you for coming today. And um, as you know, though, we are having this 45 minute site inspection of a specific hotel, whether it's two or four. Um, we would love to accommodate you. And please feel free to co host and invite. Um, your clients on your particular site visit of Valo. And, and uh, we have the recording available for you. And uh, on our visualizervisit.com site, you can of course schedule your own FAM trip virtually as we go along. So yeah, Anna, I love the colors of this location. I can see that the hues of uh, peach has been carried in the fonts and on the look and feel of the visualizer visit. I definitely have done my visualizer visit here in this location, just like you. And I have seen that there are groups coming to this property, even during the pandemic. Um, I saw yeah, uh, right. corporates, yeah, corporates being very um, interested. And of course, since this is relatively new, a lot of our meeting planners um, are introducing the property to their corporate members and their associated members. Yes, so um, whether the regulations allow, uh, we will pick up pretty fast again with the meetings in this space because this is hugely popular. As mentioned uh, just a moment ago, this is our newest uh, meetings venue in Finland. Um, it is, it's just, you know, recently launched. And um, 
it is focusing on remote workers. So not only the groups, uh, we saw that the capacity, uh, the max is about 180, depending on the style. Yeah, it's, it's basically um, cocktail style 180 or theater style 150 uh, or 75 during, during this time. But um, this is a fantastic place for even a longer stay or when you know that you are hosting a webinar like I was doing, uh, this property actually has really uh, fast Wi-Fi and also they're, you know, well, I would say, well designed for you to have a lot of private areas and little corners and rooms uh, in order to facilitate those maybe boardroom meetings that you have uh, key speakers or maybe your CEO is, you know, in another country and, and they're tuning in from the screen. So everything is really uh, working well for, for remote operations, remote meetings. And if we have to go in a storytelling mode, we have to remember that the reason why this property has a lot of wooden features, of course, it's Nordic, but also the fact that in Finland, we have 70% of our land area covered by forest. And therefore, we have a lot of variety of pine and birch wood. And um, interestingly enough, Valo is actually co-owned by um, a consortium and I think that they have um, stakes in the construction industry and that that is why perhaps the, the feeling of being very um, you know corporate and Nordic is carried throughout the hotel. That's right and one of the other reasons is because this is a green certificated uh, venue so it is a highly sustainable and uh, all the furniture that you see are from some of our uh, top designers, the wood designers, very, very sustainable designers in Finland, which is Arctic, Isku, and then we have some um, other designing uh, elements that you see, so Aalto, for example. So a lot of uh, those that are really into Scandinavian design would be recognizing uh, their furniture and their kind of key pieces in each room. So we are just looking at the meeting space at the moment. Um, we could highlight the floor plan as well so you see a little bit about how this place works out so it's in a triangle format you know there's a the reception area for for um, you know the hotel itself this is the first floor and then you have the atrium as you saw that as we call it tori in finnish so you have the the kind of art arcade in there and then you see these breakout rooms that we have been looking at but now we are entering on the second floor and on the second floor, we will have more of those remote working areas. So I'm just going to quickly show that again so that you see when you go up here, that's the second floor and this is the remote workers area. Uh, of course, we have the social distancing in place. So, um, I mean, these are actually compliant to the 1.5 meter at the moment. There's only one person seated here. So basically, as we would be working. And uh, when I was here a month ago, I mean, it, it was specifically, it was full. So it was as full as you could say during COVID. <laughs> I mean, you know, our perception of what's full, I think has changed a bit right now. Indeed, um, as you can see also from this virtual fam trip, there is access to that location through a card, a key card. And um, it is of course uh, very secure and private and only those with key cards can access that remote workspace. And then right. natural daylight, by the way, I think I will let you emphasize that, Anna. Oh, natural daylight is beautiful. And I think, yeah, we will both uh, carry on with that theme because you, you said in the beginning of the webinar that the name uh, Valo does mean light in Finnish. So I do agree that it is a, it's a very attractive name also. And luckily the property itself is true to its name. So it's, it's not just you know, something that they wish to be, but it is very light uh, property. And this is actually the type of room that I um, had. Um, so a month ago, uh, what I really liked about it is you can't see it in the picture because I guess sometimes it's not aesthetically uh, lovely, but there's a recycling bin right on the left-hand corner below here. And uh, I mean, divided by, you know, three different. So you have metal class and then the rest, you know, and it's also a paper-free property. So there is uh, non-paper straws. Um, everything is really sustainable in that sense. And, um, you know, you can see there's an 
um, it, it is a, a pad, it's not iPad, um, but there's a, basically a digital pad that gives you all the information. So there's no brochures. Um, you know, there's a lot of details that make it sustainable. I agree, Anna. I think that looking at this basic room, you can immediately see that there's something unique about this hotel. And the only thing that I can say for now with it being unique is that this is a place where you could work and sleep is one of the motto. Because when you go into the room, as you can have done in the first room, um, there is only a living room such as this one. But in the evening, you literally fold that and uh, make up for your bed. And it's all combined in very seamless way. Um, so, you know, we have been to Japan as well. I have been sleeping in small Japanese compact rooms, but this is not small in that category. And you can see from the info section how big and large the, the room is. It's just the idea of being a workspace in the morning and a sleeping area in the evening. And that's right, because what I felt that it was very clean space because I was able to pull that uh, bed back up. <laughs> so everything stayed very pristine all the time and it gave that peace for work as well and because the wi-fi connection is so fast you know the 5g um connection it's it's you know also emphasized there's some boosters in place um all the rooms have really strong wi-fi so and also the tea and coffee making uh facilities here and and the, you know you can feel the sustainability because the materials are so, are so high end genuine wood um, you know, even the fabrics, you know, they seem that they've been chosen because of the, the green certificate. So you, you do feel like it's a healthy working environment. And just to emphasize, this hotel and meeting hotel is really catering for business travelers and, and meetings. So remote uh, local workers are really big fans of this one. And, and they also um, have now rented out the key cards that you mentioned for corporates who are getting rid of their offices for their workers to come here. It's true. And if you go further into the living rooms and um, no bedrooms and even in the rooftop, we can see that behind that window is actually a beautiful park and that you could see a vast expanse of greenery, which Finland is, of course, famous for. So in a way, this really highlights the nature of the the Finnish uh, environment, the beauty of the architectural wood, um, the clean, smooth surfaces. I mean, I wish my house is as clean as this, but I'm getting there, um, especially now during this um, situation where we don't want extra papers lying around, not, not, not a lot of artifacts on the room, perhaps a couple of books um, in the suites area for this property, but otherwise there is nothing that can contaminate us during these times. Exactly, the the hygienic element is well executed here, and then also like this is a this is one of those you know comfort team working spaces. So when you think about it, like um, I've been visiting a lot of offices during this COVID time with the social distancing. You know, there's been screens between us. There's you know everybody's wearing masks. Uh, you know, if there is a balcony, the door is open, the fresh air is coming in. So we've had a lot of interaction still uh, with, with our, well, I would say stakeholders, boardroom um, meetings with the board. Uh, I mean, there's there's been several situations where we need these spaces still. I mean, you know, uh, we can't avoid uh, getting together in some instances uh, completely. And here you have the whole privacy of having your own catering. You know, you can get the tea in between the meeting and uh, you know, there's no hotel staff coming in and out. And, and that's, a, that's something that we actually wish now. So more privacy, I would say, in, in terms of meetings where we need to keep them hygienic. I agree, there is a seat for six people in the particular boardroom style meeting. And uh, there is... <laughs> okay, so I can see, that, see it. sometimes there's renovations taking place when we are, working remotely and yes so there's six seats in this space and uh, I mean we can also zoom in to see a bit a bit closer what I do like about visualizer is I can also do the full screen mode so now um, you're able to really take in you know the space and the details and whatever property that we are using visualizer 
visit is free to build. So when we are uh, creating these presentations, we really take close look at, you know, is it MICE compliant? And like here, because it's a Finnish, uh, Finnish presentation right now, we have all the text in Finnish, but what it actually does tell you is all the details on the 49 inch uh, screen and six chairs. There's a kitchen corner and uh, you can adjust the, the air conditioning. And, and there's a lot of nice, you know, kind of details already applied there. Of course, we take some of these things for granted, but I think when we're organizing a meeting, we don't want to make the mistake where we assume that the, the space has something. So it's, it's really good that they have been listing all those uh, necessary items. And what I like is you also have this note board that you can attach, you know, do the, the noted, post-it, you know, uh, thing that I think we've been using now Miro, so Miro, uh, a lot as a tool for post-it notes and all of that, all these digital tools because we are apart from each other. So it's nice to go back in attaching, attaching something on the screen, you know, being tangible about it um, with, again, being mindful that maybe one person sticks everything in. <laughs> you That's know, the issue Anna, of um, language yeah. choice. How mm -hmm. fast it is for a visualizer visit to customize the language since we have our Italian guest today and we're hoping for more Central European presentations of hotels and venues in the coming months. So, I mean, it literally takes five minutes. So we have the English version here. So, it, I mean, there's a system that translates it. And uh, I just noticed that by clicking on the right-hand corner, you can change the local language into English. So instead of Finnish. So here you can now see the, everything that I was just talking about um, in, in commonly understandable, except one, they have, they have actually uh, missed on the adjustable air conditioning and adjustable light that's still in Finnish. I need to probably let them know. <laughs> and I'm liking the fact that in every page of the visualizer visit, you can see the hand sign, you can enlarge the, uh, for, uh, the presentation, you can share, you can go back to where you exactly are located and then you can press the I button. So the icons on the right side of this presentation is really a guiding post for me not to get lost in the most essential points of my presentation to my clients. Oh, that's definitely it. I mean, we've been using so many different virtual site visits with you, Sheila, um, with, uh, when we were presenting to meeting planners or our own team when we are planning our own events uh, together. Um, <laughs> and sometimes it's a bit of a nightmare when you have these arrows but no drop down menu like we have here you can see the spaces that you know we can just jump into but sometimes you have virtual site visits where there's just arrows and as a meeting planner when i'm clicking the arrows i'm not getting the information i'm getting visuals but i don't know this you know screen heights or capacities or anything like that so it is a lot more interesting for me when i'm trying to do shortlist any of the venues to also know um, the really important information that you need here. And one thing is always checking into the map. Okay, where exactly was it? Does it fit into our logistics? Can everybody get there? Um, and so forth. I agree. We are just uh, human beings as meeting planners, and we can sometimes go on and on in, in making our presentations. But with Visualizer Visit, I feel like it's very corporate very business oriented. Um, when you mentioned about the arrows, yes, it does have a feel of being gam gamified, like you are led to somewhere where you don't know what's in there. And that can be really a surprise for both you and your clients. So in this case, the presentation is cut out for us. I mean, I was, wasn't ready, I wasn't looking at Valo um, very much before I came today. And even with, with your presentation, I'm being guided to what is the most important things I should focus on. Oh, yes. And there we see actually something because our theme today is sustainability. I was talking about the, the three, um, you know, recycling trash, you know, aspects of. Like, I really like the design of that one. I don't think it's, you know, bad at all. But sometimes these spaces, they avoid putting the recycling in the meeting room because it, it doesn't look right. And unfor that's an unfortunate thing because of course we need to be ecological. But this one, I think is a great um, solution for, I mean, you can't even really see it. It looks great, but also it's sustainable and green. 
I hope you have time for us to bring us to the jacuzzi, the rooftop sauna, and the Turkish bath, as well as the Nordic uh, restaurants. Oh, let's go there now. I mean, we all need a bit of a spa. I mean, it's been a while, especially in Finland, it's been a bit cold. So luckily we have saunas everywhere, like in this hotel. And you just mentioned, you know, there's a jacuzzi here. And it's really rustic and cool because uh, this one is open all day. Uh, well, I mean, depends on obviously now uh, during COVID, you know, they do have a booking system. So it's, there's only private groups that can go in there. So it's not really public right now, but I did they are open. Enough. Last yeah. weekend, I inquired because I wanted to check in. The price at the moment is 80 euros for a double room. And there is a slot. That's the thing that they have been yeah. doing. There is a slot for guests that you could pencil in for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And you can enjoy the jacuzzi as much as you want within your allocated time. So that makes sense for a lot of us. And especially it's an outdoor jacuzzi. Um, the, the, you know, the, the risk is, of course, less outdoors. And uh, definitely because uh, there is free flowing water and the fantastic view is just amazing from this uh, eighth floor location. And yes. bar. And this is the bar. And what this uh, solution reminds me of is the Viking line, the Cilia line, which connect us from Helsinki and Turku to Stockholm and Tallinn. Um, on a cruise line, in their wellness area, they have this same barbecue area where you can, you, you can either, you know, rent or buy, you know, sausages or you can bring, bring your sausages however you want to do the barbecuing. But um, they have this same design in this space. And for some reason, I always feel like when I'm looking at this, that I'm on a cruise line in the Scandinavian area. <laughs> and the uh, reception area here, so it leads you to the spa area. And like you said, you can hire a slot and those that haven't been to Finland before maybe with uh, haven't stayed with the locals um, in our apartment buildings because we have about 2.5 million saunas in Finland uh, so half of the population has their own saunas uh, pretty much so each building has a sauna and you actually do the same thing so you you put an hour in for your apartment building that when you want to have your private sauna so in this hotel, they have applied the same system. Uh, um, on practical issues, Anna, I offered Bala Hotel to my client as a destination for their birthday parties uh, made up of 50 people. And the thing is that uh, at that time, Bala did not have a visualizer visit and the other two properties have. So the other two properties sent me a link to this particular offering because we just wanted a spa, a spa experience for five hours. And I think nowadays I can have this offer in a very neat package, meaning all of these spa properties can give me an offer in email or event uh, on, on what kind of um, spa facilities they have. And it's just like a panoramic view. Uh, so you mean the, the 360 images? Exactly. Uh, a month ago, Valo did not have this. And it has been kind of like a storytelling for me to, to relate to the client that, hey, they have a beautiful outdoor jacuzzi. I have been there. But with the other property who has that, I did not need to make a lot of explanation. So this really saved me a lot of time by just giving a link to the spa and making sure that the client understands that this is uh, overlooking the city, it has a sauna across it, it has a jacuzzi, and you could have lots of towels and um, enjoy your cocktails, your wine, your beer, um, have a seat outside just, you know, between sauna mm. and really have a, a great time. Because this is a working hotel, so this is a remote hotel, a remote workspace hotel. So it is specifically built for office workers. Um, I wouldn't actually recommend it to a client who wants, you know, leisure spa, because you know this is the purpose of this one is really to to you know rest after you have been working all day in the the internal you know the locations that we showed. So that's why also the design of this one is a bit more rustic as in not so luxurious but it, it does actually work i think you know for those that they are looking for less uh, less luxurious but more of a casual setting um you know to relax and just you know to, it, so it doesn't have to be so 
you know, pompous or <laughs> you don't have to dress up to go into spa, let's put it this yeah. way. It's, so um, it's really so, a matter of taste, yeah, because yeah. Um, that particular jacuzzi has the sky on top of it. And it's located in the main street of Helsinki, where the participants can go to the club afterwards. So there are not a lot of those locations. So I have to highlight what's in store for them uh, when they accept or when they return. True. I mean, because we have such a beautiful spas um, within the Helsinki region, um, you know, we also have the sauna island, which is completely covered with different types of saunas. Uh, that's why it's really good to, you know, identify and pinpoint what they're looking for. But for this uh, sustainability aspect, I mean, I think this property does really well. They're also, uh, you know, energy saving, the carbon footprint, everything is fine. This is a breakfast area, by the way. And finally, this particular table that you see here, that's where I was sitting uh, just a, um, a month ago. And what was funny, we have this, uh, this comedy show on TV, which is called Putos. And uh, there, you know, the actors, they need to basically each season, so each year, uh, come up with a character and all of the nation votes which character goes, you know, forward. And finally, they have uh, th top three. And, and there's, for example, this year, there's, you know, um, all kinds of like a mattress. One person is dressed up as like a mattress. One is like a dog and so forth. It's, it's a funny program. I saw the group. The actors here when I was on a breakfast and I just started laughing because I was just thinking the characters that they are in this show but they are filming also this tv program um, in, in this uh, in this space. I know I, I think that I remember my daughter loved the hamburger in this place it's of course not your regular hamburger and uh, I see that there were a lot of families when we were dining there and the look and feel of it is quite private. The, the lights are um, um, discreet. And of course, this is just one of the other um, brands, uh, restaurants that they offer. And this is a really Nordic Scandinavian style. And I, again, I can feel a lot of wooden um, hues in here, all, a lot of browns and dark colors. And, but in, all in all, it's very pleasant. Yes, and they have an organic European wine. That's how they list it in the menu. So again, looking at this, uh, just the, throughout everything, you see the sustainability. And here, Artec is well presented. So you see the finished design as well. And then we have the lounge bar, Suo. So Suo means swamp in Finnish. And you can imagine swamp being dark green, uh, dark with grays and all that. And actually it's really good for your skin, but in this case, you know, I don't know about the cocktails, they might be good for your skin as well. Yes, SWO is actually uh, hosted, our host, when we had our uh, Meetings Professional International event and they have an uh, Asian fusion style of food as well. Uh, it's very interesting because it's a combination of Nordic salmon with a little bit twist of Japanese soya and so you know all these appetites that we crave are, are satisfied and there are very discreet corners there for maybe a date or, or something and they did have a few cocktails cocktail nights as well as red and white wine evenings where the price is less than the normal ones. Yeah, I mean, I do really like the ambience of this one. Um, some ways I do need to say that because this is a brand new property only a couple of months ago that it's been opened, um, it's still more minimal that it will be. Of course, they will be adding certain features, you know, as, as the property stays open, so there's testing and, and I'm sure things will change as well. But what we're seeing is, is also, it's a, you know, that famous Scandinavian minimalism um, you know, at its full, full uh, glory, I would say. And I mean, I love the names as well. I go off the full screen. So then you can see when we go to the meetings and e events, um, they haven't been translated, but actually every single name on the top that you see here in the menu, which these are uh, meeting rooms. So every time I click it, you see another meeting room. Uh, Yakala is also 
a food that reindeer eats. So it's this very white moss. Um, and then the design of it kind of has a little bit of the same, same kind of colors. So Nava is again another type of moss. It's very soft and light. And, and um, so they, all these names are from the forests and from the tundra from north of Finland. Yeah, as you know, Anna, I've just arrived from my one month remote work in northern Finland. And indeed, I can feel the vibes from this uh, location. As I think, you know, probably the shareholders of the hotel are from all over Finland. And they, you know, they're very proud of where they came from. So the pastels are especially uh, conducive to me. I love the colors. Um, and it, it's amazing, Visualizer Visit allows us to use fonts that are reflected on the hotel. So the look and feel is carried through from the Visualizer Visit to the hotel. As you can see, the columns on the left are the same exact color as in the carpet. That's right. So it's all brand alignment. And uh, so they're all tailor made. So these color, like you said, they are definitely Valo's chosen colors. and as it says, sleep, work and relax, you know, is the epitome of and the kudos of this property. And, and you feel that like I felt quite um, relaxed immediately when I walked in, you know, I became quite efficient with my work as well because it was so built to, you know, just be focused and the environment kind of gives you that extra energy. Um, these colors in this room, they are from the berry called Hilla. Um, it is a slightly orange colored and it Hilla and then Durni apparently have the most vitamin C of anything, you know, like 600 times than paprika or something like that. Paprika is also apparently good. These are things that you learn during COVID, right? <laughs> Talking about energy, this hotel uh, has been sponsoring fun run in the mornings at 6 a.m. where the participants, especially meeting planners, can participate in a breakfast buffet with everyone else. So that's really a good marketing campaign during these COVID times. Um, you know, when you run, you don't need to be next to each other. And of course, uh, because the, the hotel has a very large reception, as you can see from here already, um, it's possible to have a social distance. That's right. I mean, that was one of the best parts of this one is that because the reception is so open and high ceilings, I mean, what we're looking at front of us, like Sheila pointed out, is the reception area. So um, it's just, it really gives you the feeling that you're outdoors already. And uh, I can't wait for um, April when we can again go back because we are now on a lockdown so we have a three-week lockdown in Finland uh, restaurants and places like this public places are closed however you can do a uh, takeaway coffee or, or get your you know bread freshly made bread from the bakery and things like that however we, we cannot have meetings right now so I think you know um, this property is again full once they open uh, of business. Have we look at the hygienic protocol because that is something that is un very unique and very meticulous in a, lots of the bigger brands but this one is also very customized and I just love the way they use their um, own exact mask that they're using um, and yeah the very neatness of this um, PDF attachment that you can download easily into your own mobile phone and the fact that this is in English, they're very prepared for international guests. Definitely, I do like how they have sectioned everything. And uh, so you can see the meetings and events, the capacity have been halved. Uh, you know, they, they tell you all these details that we need to know about the space. And, uh, and as we can see, you know, they are promoting wearing masks and things like that. So. So it gives us again, the feeling of security before booking the venue. And that's what I like about, again, our virtual site visits that us, you know, uh, hosts when we are producing this webinar, we make sure that the properties that we are presenting are very mindful and they have the information available very clearly and easily uh, because otherwise, you know, we might, we might really um, struggle, you know, with finding the information because sometimes you have to scroll down the websites and ask and it takes time. The delay uh, doesn't help to really, you know, boost that property to our clients. I saw a meeting colleague share the Valo property in Visualizer visit on his LinkedIn. So how easy it is to share these things, Anna? Because I think the best 
feature also of visualizer visit is for the hotels to have the analytics on the venue and on the exact pages where most of the things have been visited. That's right. So we have two options here. So I clicked on the, like here on the bottom uh, right corner. So just by clicking this connection, the sharing social media aspect, we can share it in 181 locations. So what he did, he clicked his LinkedIn and then he just posted directly from this presentation, um, you know, the link that we are looking at. So everybody can see exactly what we just saw without cost. Uh, this is completely uh, free and available. Also for venues, uh, we are now in a uh, special, you know, kind of like a, uh, I would say offer or so, yes, that we can do it for free for uh, properties as well. So what you get is basically this whole presentation and just by copy pasting this, you can put it on the event website, on your own property website, or I can post this to anywhere I want to highlight uh, this specific space. So when I'm moving it, you can see this is a, this is can go on a WhatsApp, for example, or a C event or wherever you want to put it. Um, rooms.com uh, you know there's lots of third-party websites as well so when i'm uh, zooming in you can see that url is changing on the left hand side that's because you are sending the exact image that we're looking at uh, so it's a very handy way of sharing it to clients especially if we are having uh you know like this this kind of presentation with our co-hosts from the venue and anyone says something in the chat like for example oh what is the capacity so if I open this capacity chart, um, I can then basically see all the details. So if they're asking that, I would just share this image here to, the, to our chat. I'm gonna actually do it now so you can all see this same uh, presentation on your own time as we will be um, you know, actually finishing in a, sh in a short while. So here you go, you can all go in and, and actually start looking at the the visualizer for yourself and uh, if you google visualizer 360 and then the property name or the city that you're looking for uh, you will find the visualizers that way as well i agree anna i think nowadays it's so important to see and uh, really know what your clients feel and through the analytics we may have a glimpse of whether the client is interested or not or whether we should move on to the next property as, as meeting planners, we really need to be mindful of our time. Actually, I, this is a fast way of uh, going through lots of properties and shortlisting. And then um, it's a sustainable way as well, because when we are on our live site visits, and let's say we usually look at three or five properties a day, if sometimes even more, um, it first of all, is not very carbon neutral because we are going with taxi or transportation from one property or to another. And then um, we easily forget some of the details, you know, even if we're receiving uh, BDFs and brochures afterwards, um, we still go back and ask questions about the capacity, the floor plan, you know, <laughs> all these details. Now we don't need to because we are able to do the site visit initially like this, then we do our live site visit to our shortlisted, maybe two or three properties uh, with the client. Uh, and then we make the choice. So I, our work is, is a lot faster and easier and more sustainable. Indeed, something concrete for our meeting planners and venue finders. We are all in this together and we would love to have you present, for example, in in London, the IET Savoy, and any properties uh, in the city that you would like to, uh, to show to your clients. And we will do it within the visualizer visit. And definitely you can pencil in your schedule, whether it's um, uh, British time or Nordic time, we have the possibility to cater it to your needs. That's right. And you just mentioned that we can do different properties. So if you wish us to present a particular or favorite venue for, for your clients, or maybe you are one of those venues that want to be presented to our meeting planners, the MPI members, uh, our colleagues, uh, you know, we, we work with a lot of different corporates, then uh, please do get in contact or go to www.visualizervisit.com uh, or contact us directly also via LinkedIn. Uh, 
and we are able to help you because this is something we can do during COVID or during pandemic as well. And after that, we can give you these visualizers to work with and you can also do the 360 tours to any venue that you want. Yeah, welcome again in the next few weeks. We hope to have our Central European hotels, specifically from Italy, if you have an interest in that, and um, a few others, even the USA. Um, then we have French speaking uh, webinar sessions coming up. So please feel free to contact Anna and I and our contact information is at visualizervisit.com. Great, uh, have a lovely day everybody. Thank you, Sheila, and see you again next Tuesday. Ciao. Ciao, bye.